Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, in this lecture, we will see how we can make use of the calendar option or how we can put the date in the Excel sheet. Now, for example, let us say I have one sheet. Let me make use of this sheet and I want to put a date here. Okay. So, let me write some random date here. I'll write uh, 06, 05, and 1993. And if I hit enter, so this is a uh, date what I have got. Sometimes you may not get a date. For example, if I can click on this and if I go to general, if for example, let us consider, I'll keep it to general. Uh, when you are working, you write some date. For example, I'll write one more date now. Let us say 0506 1996 and I'll hit enter. This is working. But sometimes what happens when you write the date, it will not come in date. It will come in number. Like here you can see, suppose if I click on this and if I go to this general, it will take it to a number. Sometimes that happens. So in that case, you just select that, come to this option, and here you can come to the option called as short date. Okay. Or even you can go for the long date. For time being, I'll go with the short date. Click on that. So it will be converted to a date. Okay. Right. Now let us say I have one task. I have one task where I want to write the date. So I'll go with this. Yeah. So I want to write this is a random dates what I've written. I want the end date of the same month, like 6 5 1993. This is a month of May. I want the end date of this month. So again, I cannot look into the calendar. Okay, this is May. May last is 31st. So I'll come and write here 31st. Let us say 05. Okay, 05 and 1993. So this is what I cannot do, right? Okay, if it is for one or two, I can do. Imagine there are hundreds of dates where you're supposed to do. Can you do that? Practically not possible. So in that case, we have certain options in Excel and the option is that you need to type EOM. So if you write here, it's written end of month. Okay, it's written EOM is end of month. Click on that. It will open up. Bracket will open. It's asking what is the start date. So I'll tell, I'll tell this is my start date and then I'll give a comma and it's asking me the month. So here, if you're looking the value for the same month, then you should write zero. Since I want the end of the month, this is May month. Okay, fifth is May, right? Yeah, so I want the end date of May. So since I'm looking for the same month, I'll write zero here and I'll close the button bracket and hit enter. So can you see in May, the last date what we have is 31st. Same thing, I got it here. Similarly, I'll drag it like this. You can see all the end date of the month I got. Like for example, this is June. June end date is 30th. In July, we have 31st. Okay, July, we don't have it. This is 8. So again, August it is. August is 8, right? So it is 31st. I got 31st. Then uh, this is uh, again, I think May. Yeah, uh, 5th is May, right? 05 is May. So you can see here 31st it has given. Now let us say my uh, problem statement will change. Now I don't want the end of month for the same month. I want it for the next month. Like this is May. Okay. So I don't want the end of the month of the May. I want the June one. Then what I do again, one option is you drag your formula like this. You are dragged it. But this is not the right way. You double click on this. Then actually I want this cell to be my reference cell. So what you can do, you can drag it and keep it here. So Excel has taken this one. And now instead of zero, I'll click on this one. One in the sense it will go for the next month. I'm looking my uh, reference cell is for the May month, but I want end of the date for the next month. So our next month I'll go one month ahead. So I'm taking one here and I'll hit enter. So you can see here 30, 06, 1993. So 06 is your June month. And in June, you have 30 days. So it's written 30. Got it. Similarly, if you want, I, I can drag it like this. Got it. Yeah. Now let us say I want end date of the previous month. Like I'm my reference cell is a May cell. But I want the end date of April. Now up to here, I was going ahead, right? If I want in the same month, I was taking zero. If I want June, I'll say plus one. If I say July, I'll say two. If I want August, I'll go for three months ahead. Now I want to go backwards. I want to look for April month. So in that case, again, what you do is just drag your formula like this. No issues. Then double click on that. So your Excel will take this as a reference cell. I don't want this to be my reference cell. I'll drag and I'll keep it here. And now instead of one, I'll go here minus one. So I want to go back side, backwards. Then I'll hit enter. Finish. So can you see? It has given 04. It was 05 previously. It has given 04. And 04 indicates it is an April month. In April, we have 30th day. So you can see 30th year. Now, if you want, you just drag it like this. So in this way, if you want any dates to be put in your Excel sheets, you can make use of this option called as EOM. That is end of month. Okay. 
that is one way of doing now let us say i have um, yeah now my problem statement is different so this is a starting date of a month first november 21 is a starting date of a month i want the start date of the next month so for what i was doing i was getting the end date right now here i want the same date that is first november 21 i want the month to change here so in that case what what shall i be doing let me tell you so the shortcut command for that is e date i'll say equal to sign e d so you can see e date right click on that and now it's asking you the start date so this is my start date and then it is asking you what month so right now i want one month one month ahead that this is november i want the starting date of december to come here okay and i'll say one month ahead so i'll say one and i'll close the bracket so okay now you see it's coming in a uh, this thing rupees right so the pro the problem is you see here the moment i pressed on it you can see the format it is in currency so just come here and you go to this uh, called a short date it will be changed into the date format all right so what has what has come here first as number is not changing here number is not changing here in the previous case the number was changing right but here the number is not changing the number is same first only rather but it was november here it has given me december now again this date is not in a proper format we can change the format later i'll tell you how this format can be changed but 12 is for december so november this has got this has gone to december similarly i'll drag it here again now i want start date of next two months that is i'm looking for november this is november is my reference i don't want the december i want the january month uh, a starting date to come then again i'll double click on this i'll take this as my reference here. i'll go back this one and rather than one i'll say two months ahead right if i if i was taking one month it was coming to december i want january date to come i'll say two and i'll hit enter finish you can see one one 2022 has come even the date has changed now it was 21 year but i'm going two months ahead so your year has changed and it has gone to 2022 similarly if you want the start date of the previous month again i'll pull this same thing on the right side i'll double click i'll say this is my reference cell and now i'll say here rather than going forward i'll say i want two months behind i'll say minus two this time that means november is my present month two months behind so before november we get october and september so i should get the answer as september here and september is 09 so you can see 109 2021 has come so in this way you can make use of this end of month and uh, e date option uh, to get the end date of any month same month any month if if you want you can make use of this option if you want the start date of the next month or the previous month you can make use of a e date option right yeah now coming to the other functions now see this format you see this is 06059093 but i want this format to be like written 06 may 1993 in that case what we can do i'll just select this format i'll go to this uh, option here this option called as uh, more number format you can click on that and here you come to the option called as date yeah let me do that once again i'll go to more number format here this option called as date so here you can see the different format it's written 14 3 2012 or if you want a format something like this date also should be there like wednesday 14 march 2012 that also can be brought i'll click on this i'll say okay so now can you see it is giving me which day it is it is giving me it's a 6th may 6th may, may is thursday and it in 1993 so whatever date you want everything can be brought here so it totally depends on which format you want now again every time you don't have to select and go here there's a shortcut button which i told you earlier which is called as control one if you click on control one it will directly take you to this uh, particular window and from here you can come to the date option and now here whichever date you want to you can just press suppose if you want something like this 14 3 12 whichever you if you want something like this 14 march 2012 only uh, the date month and year will come uh, you, you, if you don't require the day here you can even make use of this command i'll click on this i'll say okay see that uh, day has gone day has vanished from here so whatever format you want you can make use of it right yeah so other than that let me go with uh, some other format suppose if you want to make your custom format say uh, you may say actually i don't like this format do you have something else for me yeah. i'll say i'll select this I'll go with control one. Then here this option called as custom. Go to the custom option. You can see lot of custom options here, right? So here, let me go to the date option. See here, it's something written DD, MM, YY. 
so i'll just take it out strike it out let me write d here the moment i write d it is showing me 6 that means it's only showing me the first digit 6 suppose if i write dd it will show me 06 that 06 i can see i have selected this particular cell and out of that cell this is my first uh, date 06 1993 it will take that date as a reference and it will give you the format so i written dd again if i click on d now what it will do it will give you that it is thursday but in thursday it is giving you only the first three letters but again if i click on d it is giving you thursday so this is a format ddd is a format for that i'll keep the same format i'll give a comma and i'll give a space you can see the same comma has come now thursday the day is done i want the date so date let me for date i'll say d and d that means thursday 06 if you want a single digit you delete one d it will give you only single digit let me keep two digit now again i'll give a hyphen something like this okay now i want the month right so for a month the shortcut is m if you write m once it will give you only one single digit fifth fifth stand for may month else if you give mm it will be zero five but again if you want may to be may to come here you click on one more m it will give you m again if i click on m nothing will happen so three m you can keep this is another format what i want then again i'll give a space i'll give a hyphen now i want year for the year if you if i click on y it will directly give me 93 so this is 93 again if i click on y again it will be 93 only there is no changes in that again if i click on y it will give me 1993 and if i click on y again so this is the format what i have now whatever changes you want to do like you may say actually i don't want a comma here let me keep equal to sign i'm not sure let me check if it works out and then i'll say okay to that right you can see the same format has come here so in this way whichever format you want you can try to make use of this format and you can uh, work on the excel sheets right so i hope you have enjoyed this lecture uh, similarly this whatever format i brought no, you don't have to go at all this uh, do the format even if i select here if i go to this option and if you can see there is something called as long date if i click on long date it will come like this 6th may 1993 but here the day is not coming so in that case you select it you go to uh, shortcut command that is control one and now here you come to the custom option and here you can see these options here okay date month and all this is for the timing at all Ti right now timing i don't require you can select on this then you can try to input if i write the it will change so try to you know uh, experiment with this you'll be able to understand that's the one thing what i wanted to tell now other than that we have certain other commands for example if i want to put the current date what is today's date if i want to put today's date then there's a shortcut command to that you write ctrl control and give a semicolon to that and hit enter oh, wait let me do that So uh, that option is not working for me. So let me go with a different option. So what you can do is you can write if you want today's date. So I'll write T O D A Y today. Open bracket and close bracket. And if it if I hit enter, okay. Let me make use of this equal to sign here. Equal to and if I hit enter, you can see the today's date has come here, right? So in the same way, I want today's date and also the timing to come. So what I'll do is again I'll write equal to. I'll say now I'll close the bracket open the bracket close the bracket hit the enter button you can see today's date along with that time has also come so uh, whenever you want such option maybe when you're doing some excel sheet you want to know at what time did you create this uh, excel sheet and what at what time and on which date uh, you, you created this excel sheet in that case what you can do is just uh, you can save it for your reference I'll just come here okay just for your reference I'll say equal to or maybe at the heading at the top you can do that so at the top let me do that here i'll say equal to i'll say now open bracket and close bracket hit enter finish so it will be saved here that you created this excel sheet on 274 at this particular time so it will be saved in this way right so in this way we can try to make use of this uh, different uh, date command time command and all and also remember sometimes when you do this it may not work out again let me tell you the problem also i'll say equal to sign now open bracket and close bracket and hit enter and now let me come here 
I'll go to the home option and here let me make it to general. So whenever you do, whenever you apply this uh, command equal to now, open bracket and close bracket, you may get some numbers. So the problem is with the formatting. In that case, what you do, you select here, you go here and here you can go to the option called a short date or long date. Click on that. So again, it will come something like this. Okay. Even though the date is being shown, time is not shown here. So in that case, you can select here, go to more number formats and then you can come to the custom and in the custom you see this, you can click on this option. Uh, you can click on this option. Yeah. Where is that? This option and it will say ok, yeah, it is not working, let me do that again, I will say more number format, come to the custom option, so here we have that both the format, yeah this one, date, month and year and also HHMM is in hours and minutes, ok, and I will say ok to this, now you can see 27 for 2023 and 441 is the time, so again uh, let me do it here, I will say equal to now bracket close and bracket open, bracket open bracket close and hit enter, yeah, now it's fine. So you can see the timing here. So this is how it looks. Okay. So uh, try to make use of this command just in case if any of them is not working for you. If it is showing in number, there's every chance they may show in even currency also. Then you just select here, go here, change it to the short date. If it doesn't work, come to the more number format. And then from here, go to the custom option and try to drag down from here. And you get lot of you know fonts which you are looking for. Actually, I was looking for a font which is something like date, month, year and also it gives me hours and minutes. So, this is what I was looking for. Click on that and see. If I want only, so, uh, only like uh, this one, you look at this command, HHMM second. That is, it will give you hours, minute and seconds. I will say OK. So, you can see it is showing me 1642 and 58 seconds. So, this also can be done, right? So again, if you want everything to come, you can go to the custom option, go to more format here, try to create your own uh, this thing. Now, what I'll do is I'll just write here DD. You don't get that uh, by default, but you can come and write it. I'll say DD, I'll say DD, then I'll say MM and I'll say YYY and let me give a space. So now what has happened here, it is giving you a format in which 27423 type uh, in hours, minutes and seconds also it is given. Again, if you want this 4 to be shown in April month, you can click on MM again. So, I will go to M here. So, I will make, yeah, okay, yeah, let me do that. So, I will go with the shortcut control 1 and now let me make use of that. Where was that? Yeah, this format and here I will write all those things. I want uh, DD then I will give us space then I'll say M M M so it is coming in April now I'll give a space now if you want complete April give one more M so it will write complete April and then Y Y Y Y and give a space so you can see 27 April 23 and the time has come I'll say okay so you can see this is the format what I got 27 April 23 and the time hours and seconds I got so you can make use of these options try to practice this so that it will be helpful for you We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.